for years now, I've had all white setups that I've both worked and gamed out of. But I always wondered what it would look like if I took a stab at my complete opposite aesthetic with an all black setup. Since working from home because of the pandemic, I found it really difficult to enjoy being in my office during the evenings or nights because my setup was always used for majority of the day for work. I was finding myself getting burnt out really easily and never truly feeling productive because it was so hard to relax and unwind in a space that was also used for stressful work. So today I'm building a second setup right beside my main on the other side of the room and future me can tell you now that it was the best decision. I love my purple secret lab titan chair but I've never used one of their desks before. I was skeptical at first because of it being all black but then I thought about it and I don't want both setups to feel similar at all because I'm trying to separate them between gaming and work. This is the Secret Lab Magnus Pro, weighing in 59 inches long by 23 inches deep and this thing is heavy duty. It is completely made of steel. My partner threw his back out right before the desk got delivered so I had to build it myself which I was really worried about because they recommend at least two people to build it but I actually managed to do it alone because of how straightforward it was thanks to the helpful and clear instructions. This is the most heavy duty cable I've ever seen. And the fact that it's for a desk is insane. There's a built-in plug at the base of the left leg so you don't have any dangly long cables running across the floor. This is by far the quietest standing desk I've ever used to the point where even Colin noticed from the living room. Secret Lab also sent me their new MagPad desk mat in cream, which is specifically designed to cover the entire surface of the desk to protect it from scratches or damage. It's a giant magnetic desk mat made of what they call a durable leatherette that doesn't budge once you put it on, and of course is easy to clean or swap out if you ever want to refresh your setup's look and feel. It can definitely take you a couple tries to align it properly, but once it's on, you don't have to worry about dragging it around at all since the strong magnets keep it in place. Next up, we installed the hinged cable management tray, which comes included with the desk. This was super simple to attach and is in my opinion a really innovative way to hide your cables. It's refreshing to see a company do something different than either a tray underneath or including nothing at all and leaving the user to figure it out on their own. What's also really cool about this is that they collabed with Nanoleaf to create a magnetic RGB strip that lives inside the tray. So not only is it super functional but they made sure it can look cool too. The strip snaps right into place and you can adjust its position in the tray however you like. Plus it's of course customizable by downloading the Nanoleaf. App, or you can just use the remote to cycle between basic options. This was really satisfying to snap against the desk. It's bright, vivid, and well-made. Everything you expect from a Nanoleaf product. The genius benefits of this desk being made of steel is that Secret Lab was able to create a bunch of accessories that work so seamlessly together because of magnets. It allows you to customize your desk according to your needs, including adding a magnetic headphone hanger and this cable management bundle with covers and cable anchors. The headphone holder was sturdy and worked well in any position under the desk. Their cable management bundle includes three magnetic cable anchors, two magnetic cable sheets, and 10 cable fastening straps. And they even have different themes you can choose from like the Dark Knight or Leaks Team Liquid. Place them around your desk to conceal cables and keep your space tidy. The next thing we got is their Magnus single monitor arm since I wanted to keep this setup clean with only one screen. Again, this was really easy to set up and felt really well made. It fit perfectly in between the desk and the cable management tray with enough clearance at the back. It's made of aluminum, has built-in magnetic cable guides that snap on and off to hide cables, has full range of tilt, swivel, and rotation, and can hold up to 17 and a half pounds. This is Colin's monitor. As soon as he got this monitor, I absolutely fell in love with it. The color, the picture, it is a truly beautiful monitor. So I took it from him. He got this insane 45 curved one that he's been using. So this one's specifically for Max. And I actually just started working for my old company again, freelance, so I need a work setup again. Plus, I'm gonna hook up my personal MacBook as well. It uses this latch contraption. You do a quick release, it pops out. You can completely slide the monitor out. This was the easiest monitor arm to set up besides this part because of the monitor. So like I showed earlier, it comes with these magnetic sleeves. You're supposed to take them off at the beginning before you assemble this, but they essentially pop right in there. So of course I'm gonna put all my cables and then this will be the last step to 
hold them all in place. Okay, and we are connected. I got my work laptop set up. I'm gonna quickly cable manage, get all my peripherals set up. So excited to finally sit here. I have a lot of work to do even though it's Saturday. It's gonna be a long night. Okay, so I wanted to add a bit more light to my new Secret Lab setup. I'm trying to have it be its slightly different theme because I do want to keep it completely separate to my main setup. I just don't want them to feel the same. My dishwasher is beeping. I found this really cool lamp on Amazon and then I just picked these up. Of course I had to get Govi since I have everything else already hooked up to the app. I thought it would be easiest to keep with Govi. Not sponsored. I bought all of these myself. So I just got two. They also had a pack of four. This lamp does have two. Here is the lamp from a random company named Lowe. Just really love the like mushroom look to lamps. I feel like it's modern, it's different, it's sometimes even a little like bougie and expensive looking. So this actually clamps onto your desk. Nice. There's only one review on it and someone said that it came damaged, but this looks perfectly fine. Thank goodness. Can't be. It just like slides in, balances like the head. That can't be. So it's been about a week and a half since I've had this set up, so it's given me a bit more time to think about what I wanna do with the space. And I thought that I would show you guys, oh no, there's only one left in stock. I thought I would show you guys what I had in mind. I am thinking of maybe doing a black and pink theme. I think it'd be really fun. Would make work a bit more fun and enjoyable to look at everything on my desk. But really quickly, I'm already using this keyboard, but in white. I absolutely love it. It's from Logitech. They make incredible Mac accessories and the connectivity has been incredible. I actually bought this on AliExpress and even if it's a fake, I don't care because I've had absolutely no issues with it. So I would definitely get it again just in pink. And of course, I need a matching mouse. I currently use the MX Master, but this one I don't believe has the side scroll, which I really do love for like Adobe Creative programs and side scrolling, obviously. And then of course we need some MacBook cases. This is for my personal one and then we definitely need a laptop stand and a laptop holder for both of the monitors. This is a little bit too steep. I just don't think that this is worth $40. So I'm kind of holding off. Might just get a single one that's pink. We'll see. But this is what I'm thinking so far for the vibe of this setup. Then Secret Lab did send me the cream mouse pad, but when they released this beige one, they also released a pink one as well. They have both been sold out and they only sell them on America but I think if I am going the pink theme, I would eventually love to buy the pink desk mat for the MagPad desks, just because I don't know how the pink is gonna look on the cream. But then again, I think the pink on the pink just might be a bit too much. This is the one that I have right now. I think I signed up for uh, interest so that if it does come back in stock, I can purchase it, but the cream is absolutely fine for now. Here is a little update on the lamp. It does slant. It's meant to be a slanted lamp. I don't love that, but whatever, I still find that it's not nearly enough light. So even with the nano leaves at the back of the desk, I still definitely need a monitor light bar. I am so die hard for monitor light bars, so I absolutely need one. I no longer have one that is for straight monitors now. So I'm gonna see if Colin has an extra one. If not, I'm just gonna go pick up a cheap one from Amazon. Okay, I have some light here, but because of the mushroom, it does make it a bit dark. It doesn't really spread the light out very much. And we have a very dark spot over here here and I have absolutely no light on my desktop which is a problem. I have been working a lot late at night. It's not really the vibe. I don't want to be turning on all of my lights here just to get a little bit of flow on this side so I will eventually get more lighting so come back for part two to see any updates I make. So I figured I have a lot of white space right here but I can't drill into this because this is my like heater or vent or whatever it's called. So I picked up a whiteboard. <laughs> really random but I love I love whiteboards, I love calendars, I'm obsessed with keeping track of things in a calendar. I used to get a new calendar every single year for Christmas and then I kind of migrated into a whiteboard just so that I wouldn't waste, you know, paper and stuff like that. 
since you just throw them out at the end of the year. So I just found a decently cheap one and a reasonably sized one on Amazon and I got some markers. was way too high up, I'm sorry. And it broke just like that. Man, what the hell? Oh my God. I was also thinking of adding back a portable monitor. I could kind of put it on an angle like this. Of course, it does get rid of some keyboard real estate, but this is always something we can build on. As I continue to work here and see what my needs are, I can always change it. The last thing I added to the new setup is this premium PC mount that attaches to either leg of the desk. This is exclusively designed for the Magnus Pro line and was created to allow you to free up space on top of your desk. The benefit of it being underneath but still attached is so you don't have to worry about cable routing as you adjust the height of your desk. My PC is a monster in size, weighing 42 pounds, but luckily the mount can hold up to 55 pounds in PCs with a max height of 21 and a half inches and a max width of 11.8. <laughs> it uses an adjustable pull pin design with a push button and clamp to secure the PC to the mount, which also makes it super easy to release if you ever need to remove your PC. It looks wicked hanging from the desk, especially if you have an RGB PC like mine, giving it a suspended look that makes your desk feel custom. Normally the legs of a desk are boring and nothing special, so this adds an aesthetic visual element that feels unique while still being really functional and convenient. Also I didn't notice any difference after mounting my PC with how the desk rose or lowered. It was still just as smooth and quiet as it was without it. And thankfully, I finally found an extra monitor light bar Colin had laying around, which helped add so much more light to the desk. Okay, time to give my final thoughts since I've been using the Secret Lab setup for a couple weeks now. First off, I am so happy I can now separate work from play. I love how clean and minimal it is compared to my other setup. I haven't run into any issues even though I've been putting this setup to the test every day by lowering and raising my monitor each time I sit or stand. The headphone holder hasn't ever fallen off, the mouse pad's still in perfect condition even after all of my snacks and drinks, and the PC holder is still going strong considering my computer weighs that of a medium-sized dog. I'll be honest, the desk and all of its accessories do not come cheap, but if you have the budget for it, then I absolutely recommend giving it a shot because I genuinely don't think you'll be disappointed. Everything is incredibly well made and the ingenuity of all of the accessories fitting and working seamlessly together feels fresh and personal, which isn't something I've ever experienced before. Desks these days feel so cookie cutter and simple, but even the built-in control panel having an on and off switch just feels very mindful and considerate. I've always had to figure out what the best products and methods are to cable manage, what monitor arm would fit on my desk, what type of material for the desk will scratch or in the least, or even something as trivial as measuring mouse pads to make sure they fit my surface area around my other peripherals. So the fact that Secret Lab has essentially invented a one-stop shop is wildly convenient and very smart in my opinion. So if you're in the market for a sturdy and stealthy standing desk that ticks boxes for both functionality and sleek aesthetics, then this is absolutely what you need. And if you love customizing your desk with special made accessories that don't feel like a hassle to assemble, then that's another big reason to check this out. Thank you so much to Secret Lab for hooking me up because I can't believe that I'm saying this, but as an all white theme, cozy girly, I actually love my new all black setup. Anyway, subscribe so you can come back for part two as we continue to grow this setup to be as decorated and established as my main gaming setup. And feel free to leave me a comment below with any suggestions of what you think we could add to this space to make it even better. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. I'll see you in the next video.